Good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session. <clears throat> Himal Sagar, Mala Krishna and uh, Rohan Yadav, Deepika and everybody. <coughs> Can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear for all of you? Yes, Doc. Um, yeah. Sorry, today I'm very late. We'll finish. Uh, today I prepared more number of quiz questions. We will try to finish. Uh, um, we'll try to finish them. And uh, after the. Um, after we finish the quiz, we will go ahead with uh, the few more questions left over in the biochemistry for the today's session. So let's make the great beginning. Um, yeah, keep punching your answers, Dr. Ranjit, Sharmista, uh, Tony, and uh, Sara, etc. etc. The small intestinal electrical waves which are being shown in the figure, how are they basically generated? Who is the one which generates them? Is a very important question. For a better clarity for you, uh, you can look at uh, those which are being mentioned. These are the intestinal peristaltic waves that we are showing. We are talking about this, um, the electrical activity, the waves. Uh, so what is your opinion, doctor? Yeah. So Chandrakant, Haider, Amrita, everyone is saying interstitial cells of Kajal. Now you have become the experts uh, in the question bank. Very good. That is the way we should approach the entrance. We should not look at the question. Looking at the answers, we should be in a position to identify what the examiner is asking us based on the high yield topics revision. Very good. So most of you are right that it is interstitial cells of Kajal. So if you take uh, the intestinal contractions and motility, there are uh, the slow waves which are being generated and it is the interstitial cells of the Kajal which are called as the uh, pacemaker cells is what you need to remember. So if you look at the stomach, small intestine and colon, typically the waves generated in stomach will have this morphology. In the small intestine, this is the morphology called the slow waves and the morphology in the colon, which you should be in a position to recognize and uh, identify. Now, Doc, a reflex is being shown to you. Yes. You tell me what is this reflex? The steps in the reflex have been shown to you. When there is an exercise, there is a stimulation and that lead to inhibition of the gamma motor neurons which are supplying the muscle spindle and uh, that decreases the muscle tone leading to muscle weakness and stoppage of exercise. So what is this reflex basically called as? Question number two. Punch your answers, doctor. So you should remember <coughs> that uh, let me check. Uh, Himasagar is proposing J reflex. Sharmista, Roshan Yadav, and uh, Najneen, everybody is proposing J reflex. Absolutely. It is called the J reflex. Now, in the red box, this is the EEG. In the red box, what are these waves that you are seeing in a normal person? When do you see this kind of waves which are being shown in this red box is the question to all of you. Yeah. Should you answer doctor? Good to see 50 online students joining and uh, nowadays uh, youtube.com slash online MBBS has become the favorite channel for self preparation and a free coaching. So I'm happy to see all of you and I hope you will bring many more of your friends to join this uh, super thousand batch 
of the um, uh, need to PG. Now we should call it as next exam, right? So what is your answer, Doctor? So Pratik Srivastava is proposing Aryam. Ranjit Shaw also is proposing Aryam. And uh, very good. Most of you are absolutely right. Very good. Today, a lot of correct answers. Arsad Musa is clean bowl, but most of you are right. No worries. Arsad is going to go back to the online MBBS video library and do a revision. Now, Doc, you identify the hormone which typically has this kind of fluctuations in its level during uh, exercise and uh, sleep. So, which is the one which rises during that time? Which one is it? Question number four. Hima Sagar and uh, Cricket Guru Pratik Srivastava. Everyone is proposing A. That is a growth hormone. Growth hormone. Absolutely right. Very good, doctor. As the exam is nearing, I think you are all uh, geared up very well. And I am able to see a lot of correct answers today. I am so happy. Of course, I am also happy when you go wrong also. Um, yeah. Now, Doc, this is the typical volume pressure curve during the inspiration and uh, expiration. Now, the examiner's question is, why there is a difference in the trajectory between the inspiratory and expiratory loop in this curve is an important question. Yeah, should you answer now? So why there is a difference in the trajectory <clears throat> between the two? Yes. So Himasagar says it is the difference in the surfactant. And uh, Sharmista Singh, Shramista Singh, and uh, Sugan, Sunandini is also thinking it is uh, the difference in the surfactant. Absolutely right, doctor. Absolutely right. Now. This is the typical action potential curve in the nerve. Narume. This is the nerve's action potential curve, AP curve. Now the question is, um, yeah. Now the question is, um, what is the difference? You have got a A period and B period, huh? Um, you tell me, Doctor, period A, which is being shown uh, during that time, there is no uh, uh, another wave cannot be done. What is the reason for that? Question number six. Six bolte hi hamare paas sixty three online students available hai. Very good. So, aaj hundred touch karna hai hum. Aaj aapke liye garma garam hot hot. Uh, Image based MCQs ke saath aaj aaye. Jada time hum quiz ke upar spend karenge. Uh, because exam is nearing and you are almost all experts. Uh, and we have an online MBBS.com video library where you always have the concepts whenever you want to go back and do the revision. Right? Huh. So Sudha Shukla is saying, is betting on sodium channel. Uh -huh. Pratik Srivastava. Pratik is also proposing uh, sodium channel. Okay. Uh, what else? So Pratik is proposing sodium channel and uh, closure of. I will read the option D for you. I think the chair is coming on the way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, option D is saying closure of inactive gates of sodium channel. Uh, give an answer. Yes. So Sunandini is absolutely right. It is the closure of the inactive gates of the sodium channel is what you have to basically remember. Now doc, it is the absolute refractory period. So the two concepts absolute refractory period relative refractive period now you know very well now 
what is the vitamin which is required for this enzyme A is the examiner's question. Should you answer it up? First, uh, you look at uh, this thing. Glycogen ban gaya, glycogen 1 phosphate, glycogen 1 phosphate ban gaya, glucose 6 phosphate. That becomes glucose. You all know very well. Now here you have an enzyme A, enzyme B, enzyme C in these three reactions. Now the examiner's question is, enzyme A ke liye, what is the vitamin that you basically require is the examiner's question. Yes. So, question number seven. Himasagar says pyridoxal phosphate, Ankra Saha also, Roshan Yadav, Clean Bold, Vibhaji, Kare, pyridoxal phosphate. I am so happy. Agar ye question wrong kare to mujhe heart attack ka jata. Kyoki last 15 days, last 10 days, we have been discussing biochemistry only. So, you are also revising biochemistry. Before that, two weeks we discussed pharmacology. So, I don't want to see you. Pharmacology, biochemistry, mein wrong nahi aana answer. Right? Very good, very good. So, Bhuvaneshwar Bhaskar is also proposing A, absolutely, pyridoxal phosphate. So, you should remember that pyridoxal phosphate, which is vitamin B6, it is the prosthetic group for the glycogen phosphorylase, is what you have to basically remember. Now, Doc, the structure of the DNA is being shown to you. Dekh rahe na, structure of DNA. Abhi, aapko kuch bonds hai. Ka hai bonds? Nucleotides, purines, pyrimidines ke beech mein bonds dikh rahe na? Ha, examiner simplest question is, what are these bonds between two nitrogenous bases? Is the examiner's question. So what is your answer, Doc? Yes, what are these bonds between the nitrogenous bases? Um, Arsad, Ranjit, Charumati, Subramani, everyone is proposing hydrogen bonds. Absolutely right. Now, Doc, this is a test done for three things. In the one, this is for proteins. Proteins. This is for sugars. And this is the ketones. Now, the examiner's question is, in a starvation state, what will be positive is a very important question. Question number nine. Should you answer, Doc? During starvation, what will be positive? Good to see 80 online. Please keep punching answers. I should see all 80's answers. That's good. So, every day I will prepare 30 MCQs, hot MCQs, image based questions. We will discuss so that you become fully active and energetic. And uh, every Sunday grand test. Please don't miss the grand test. Grand test lena hai. 300 MCQs mein kitne write kar rahe dekhna hai aur uh, whatever you are going wrong, wherever you are going uh, feeble, uh, you have to go back to the online MBBS.com video library. Top NEET PG in 120 days is the program. So you should, uh, you have all these videos of the high yield topics, MCQ based, TV based, everything. So please do the revision. So everyone is saying C, only three, absolutely. The ketone bodies are only positive in starvation. Achha vay, iska answer karo. Hum aapko gold medal de denge. Itna easy nahi hai. Uh, Charumati says, sir, Sunday grand test on the app. By app, app mein nahi milega, but uh, it is available to you on the online mbbs.com um, on the website because actual exam is a CBT computer based test. So there is a reason it is always good to have a practice on that and we are nowadays not uh, uh, we are encouraging you to be part of the online mbbs.com right. Huh. So now doc uh, question number 10 
दिस इज अ डीएमए रिपेयर मैकेनिज्म व्हिच इज बीइंग शोन इतना इजी नहीं है इसका आंसर करना राइट सो व्हाट यू हैव हियर देयर इज अ रिपेयर हैपनिंग अगर दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपेयर मैकेनिज्म अगर इफेक्ट हुआ तो what is the repair mechanism used here which is affected uh, that you should be able to answer if you know that you will answer this any defect of this type of repair mechanism it is a dna repair mechanism dekhiye aap uh, aapko a double stranded hai magar it is a double stranded break which is being created and that is being uh, repaired using uh, the uh, insertion i mean deletion and then addition of uh, a uh, that filling gap is ko kya bolte hain what do you like to call this as is a very very important question yes doc so most of you clean bowl i know because the only thing that we know in dna is di pyrimidine dimers ko रिपेयर करना अगर रिपेयर में प्रॉब्लम है तो जीरोडर्मा पिगमेंटोजम सो वी विल ट्राई टू आंसर बेस्ड अपॉन व्हाट वी नो बट व्हाट वी शुड नो व्हाट वी शुड नो इज यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट द स्कीमेटिक वाज शोइंग दैट द डबल स्ट्रैंडेड ब्रेक्स व्हिच आर बीइंग क्रिएटेड आर रिपेयर्ड बाय नॉन फोमोलोगस एंड जॉइनिंग this is called non homologous end joining and non homologous end joining type of a repair is the one which is having a uh, defect in case of uh, um, severe combined immunodeficiency is fundamentally because of what is because of non homologous non homologous end joining repair mechanism mein dikkat ho gaya to सिवियर कंबाइंड इम्यून डेफिशियंसी डिसऑर्डर आएगा दैट्स व्हाट यू नीड टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर सो व्हाट आर द अदर काइंड्स ऑफ रिपेयर दैट यू नो देयर इज अ बेस एक्सिशन रिपेयर न्यूक्लियोटाइड एक्सिशन रिपेयर दैट इज द प्लेस वेयर यू आर हैविंग जीरोडर्मा पिगमेंटोजम वेयर डाइन्यूक्लियोटाइड डाइमर्स न्यूक्लियोटाइड डाइमर्स आर बीइंग रिपेयर्ड इन जीरोडर्मा पिगमेंटोजम सो ये तो वेदांत के बाद उपनिषद से बायोकेमिस्ट्री में सो नो वरी सपोज एग्जामिनर गिव सच काइंड ऑफ ए क्वेश्चन इफ यू आंसर इट रॉन्ग टेंशन की बात नहीं है बिकॉज आम आदमी रॉन्ग कर रहे हैं सारे क्लासमेट्स रॉन्ग कर रहे हैं सो इट्स ए नथिंग टू वरी बट इफ यू टेक ए थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स पेपर रिमेंबर 250 questions are perfectly predictable if you have revised 950 high yield topics and the videos that we made available in the online mbbs.com revision karke almost 20000 mcqs ka discussion sunke exam gaye to 250 skating kar sakte 50 questions bhagwan ke haath mein chodo right ha so roshan yadav is proposing long chain fatty acids very good and uh, arga saha already got it what is this condition called as doctor it is called as please remember hepato reno cerebral syndrome of jalveja jalveja is what you need to remember where the problem is there in the handling of the long chain fatty acids very long chain fatty acids what are very long chain fatty acids called very long chain fatty acids v l c f a ke andar problem hai that is what you need to remember very good now doc 